Hey guys, today we are at my uh, the Western Technical College down here in La Crosse. We have my dad's rollback in the shop doing an in-frame on it uh, during engine rebuilding class. As you can see under the valve cover it's pretty nasty. We figure we have a cylinder liner leaking. We have done a pressure check once we drain the oil and we do have antifreeze coming down to the oil pan. So we are likely on the right track today. I'll be pulling the head. Give you guys a shot of everything as it sits at the moment. It's kind of nasty. So far we've got the valve cover off, got everything covered so no debris can get in anywhere that we do not want it. Computer's off. Doghouse is out. We get a shot of the other side. Get a shot of the inside quick. So today I'll be pulling the head and I'll give you guys another video of that later. I'll uh, try and walk around to the other students and show you what they're working on as well. This is a DT-466 in this uh, International. So I'll add to this video as we go. Alright, this is the oil pan off. Take a look inside. And that's all from being cool and pressurized, leaking down the block and residual. Otherwise it was drained. It's pretty nasty looking stuff. I'll show you guys under the truck quick. Didn't take much to pull this off. Uh, just a bunch of 10 millimeter fasteners. Uh, two different sizes due to spacers and the uh, uh, and the ones right by the pan. Alright, this is the underside of the engine. Without the uh, pan, obviously. I like this right here. Oh, well, I can get the light down. Yeah, there you go. Rear, as in rear main. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Um, otherwise, everything else looks the same. I'm not really seeing anything particular um, that's, you know, defining anything just yet. But once I get the coolant pressure tester back on this again, then we should be able to pinpoint it. And just for the heck of it, I don't know if you can see it. There's a pickup screen near. Don't look bad, just full of milky crap. Yep, that is uh, what we've got. I'll just slowly kind of go around it again. I know it's not the greatest ideal shot, but this is the inside of a DT-466 bottom end. Alright, I'll uh, update you guys a little bit later on in the progress. Alright, this may be hard to videotape, but I have pressurized the block using a coolant pressure tester and we have a leak at number 6. If I can get in there enough for you guys to see, it is between the liner and the block. I'm not sure how well you guys can see that. It's kind of hard to see even for me. But it's wet in between right there where you see the cylinder protruding and the block. It's very hard to get a shot in there for you guys to see it. But it is definitely leaking from number six as you can see the drip coming down. So we will go from there. Um, into teardown, I will be pulling the head, and uh, from there we are starting the end frame. We will be getting our parts, and that will be another video. All right, back again. I've got fuel lines unhooked, sensors unhooked that need to be, uh, radiator hose off, radiator drained. Still need to drain the block, but we can do that next time. So hold on guys, it's coming around this side. Uh, heater hoses are off, turbo's blocked, turbo lines are off. Uh, I still have to take the breather tube out. But all the head bolts are cracked loose. And sorry, I'm not paying attention to the camera, but everything's loose enough to come off. I think that's about everything. Uh, we probably won't get to pull in the head tonight, it's getting late. So that is going to have to be the um, end of this video for this chance here. I know not much light, but it gives you an idea. Maybe I can get an overhead view for you. I did see a couple bolts. I must not have quite finished loosening up yet, but they were cracked loose. Yeah, a couple right over there. But 
they are cracked loose already. They just need to be finished off. But yeah, this is going to be off tomorrow. I've already broken the manifold studs loose. Uh, taking everything apart that I can possibly get to. It needs to come off in order to do the uh, removal of the head and do the rest of the work. Uh, my advice to you guys, uh, if you're gonna do this, be prepared. Make sure you got all your stuff, make sure you got all the tools. Uh, get yourself some acetone ATF mixed up for your rusty bolts, let them soak. And as far as zero high pressure oil goes, this cap was easy on this one. The inside one down there, I still have not got off. I even hit with an impact, it wasn't happening. I need like a three foot bar and something plus, or a three quarter inch impact down to half, some blasted thing to get that loose, because that is tough. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do just yet. I will monkey with that next time. All right guys, I'll give you an update uh, when I have more. Later.